Hey guys, it's Mari, and I'm here today with another art journal layout for you. And I'm going to be using some artwork from this calendar, which is the Artist Series calendar featuring artwork by Corey Dantini. And I'm just going to flip through the calendar here and show you some of the really cool artwork that's in the calendar. That's a really great way to get inspiration or just to, um, to use to find some artwork that you can cut out and use on your in your art journal. I've seen lots of people do this with things that they've printed off the internet or things out of magazines or just all kinds of different sources of materials that you can use in your art journal. So this is one thing, one of the sources that um, that I used for this specific art journal layout today. So I'm just showing you in real time there what the some of the artwork is that's in that calendar and pretty quick here the video is going to speed right up and I'll take you through the process. So what I did to start off with was I primed my art journal with some gesso and now I'm just going to be taking some Reeves gouache watercolor and I'm going to be using that as my base. So Kelly, Froggy251 and I have been working on this mixed media media uh, collaboration together and this is our third uh, videos in a, in the series and I'm not really sure how much longer we'll we'll go on with it but this is number three anyways so Kelly's going to be working on using watercolors in a scrapbooking layout this week and I'm using watercolors on in my art journal so you can see there that I'm just using that gouache just to create a sky a bit of a sky look on the top portion or on the top two-thirds and what I did was I just sprayed some water right onto the paper because it's, it is primed. So I just sprayed some water on there and then I added some of the, the watered down blue color onto that to, uh, just to create that sense of the, the blue sky. And I did try to create some really continuous strokes across there so that it didn't get uh, choppy looking. So now I'm just taking some green and I'm doing exactly the same thing, trying to create a sense of some grass or foliage on in on the earth below the sky so uh, you'll see me just kind of working that on there and then I'm, I'm soon going to be adding some of that artwork from that calendar so my sister actually gave me that calendar she saved it for me because she thought it looked like um, well I guess she must have saved it for me thinking that I might be able to use it in my scrapbooking or in this case in my art journal so that was that was pretty cool so now what I'm doing is I'm just taking a pencil and I'm just going to create some branches and some little pine cones and some needles on a, like a pine tree to put the little bird that I'm going to be using on have, have the little bird sitting on the branch there of that tree. So I'm just taking just a, a normal pencil and I'm just drawing that on and in the end you'll see me just pile all kinds of stuff on top of this <laughs> you can't even really see it in the end anyways but that just seems to be the way that my art journaling goes so now i'm just taking some gel medium and i'm adding that to the back of that that little bird and just so that it, i can stick it down and then i'm just going to go over top of it a little bit to in different places and make sure that it's all stuck down and that uh, it's sealed up that the edges are sealed a little bit as well and just working that around there. I really love this little bird. He's so cute and I love the colors too. So I'm going to be working with some, uh, some more of those colors, the pinks and reds and oranges on the rest of the double page spread here. So I've sped this up four times because the video was well over an hour long. And so I guess you can get a sense of how long it took me to create this. It was quite a while. So now I'm just taking some more of those watercolors and I'm just, you know, not, not in a, a really precise way, just adding a bit of color to the, the branches there. And then you'll see me add a little bit of color to the, the pine cones and the, the rest of the tree there, just still using more of the, the Reeves gouache. Now these gouache colors I got just at Michael's, they were not expensive at all. And it's just a really nice alternative to add some color to your to your art, whatever it is, whether it's scrapbooking or in this case the art journal. So it's just really forgiving and it it looks 
just it's really really fun to use so uh, much very much like um, the hard watercolors that that um, I see lots of people using too so I don't use any and none of my products are really expensive products I know that there's lots of expensive watercolor palettes that you can get in that and I don't I don't own any of those I just got the cheap stuff <laughs> it seems to work okay for me so you can just see me now I, I'm gonna add a little bit of squirt a little bit of uh, water over top of it just to get it to run a little bit and and uh, just because you just want to create the impression that that's some foliage there it doesn't have to be perfect in any way so just gonna add that in and slowly just building some interest to the background of that layout so yeah it's I'm still finding that the size pretty tricky but I haven't actually picked up a smaller journal yet so next time I go somewhere I'll have to do that now I'm just taking a fine line pen black uh, waterproof pen and I'm just adding a little bit of definition to some of those little bits and pieces of the tree just to kind of create you know the the sense that um that there is a bit of an edge to those bits but not necessarily something really super precise so only just to create a bit of an impression of what's there I actually was quite surprised at how long it ended up taking me to do this entire art journal piece um, but the problem is is that I, I tend to not be able to quit <laughs> adding stuff so now I'm just taking some white heavy body Liquitex acrylic paint and I'm just creating the sense that there's some clouds in the sky there and I'm just adding that on there with my finger I apologize for the going off the camera there a little bit I actually find that my table is not big enough when I do mixed media so I'm gonna have to address that at some point but for right now it's just sort of I'm managing so I just took and added a little bit of uh, some foliage to the top of that bird's head with some flowers and you'll see that that'll go quite nicely with the stamp the sentiment that I put on this art journal page just taking a little bit of yellow liquid or uh, acrylic paint I think that's Dina Wakely paint maybe just adding a little bit of a yellow center to those little flowers there and just can't remember what I'm going to do next here. There's so much stuff that I do <laughs> to this layout. Um, so now I'm just going to add some of these W plus nine stamps. And this stamp set's called, called Doodle Buds Die and Doodle Buds Stamp. And this is a really, really nice little set that I got from, I think I got this from Simon Says Stamp. And they, they're not cheap, they're not inexpensive, but the nice thing is is that they come with, the, I bought this with the dies as well, so you get the stamps and the dies. So I'm just stamping those on there with some Black Ranger Archival ink, and just gonna put bits and pieces of those flowers on the other side there with some stems. And I actually don't, mind the way that this looks now that I'm looking at how it started out <laughs> but like I said before when I it seems like when I'm art journaling I have quite a problem with stopping putting stuff on all the different medium media on there for some reason I just seem to get rolling with it and I can't can't stop so now I'm just going to add some stems and add that sort and then I'm going to add a different kind of stem on some of the other pieces so I think that this stamp set has it's got four different kinds of flowers a couple different kinds of stems it's got a leaf it's also got the sentiment on it um, hope you have a beautiful day hello and then it's kind of got some little stitching stamps which are really cute and like I said then you also get the the dies with it and one of the dies says blessed and so love that very cute now I'm just taking some watercolor and I'm going to add the watercolor on there and then I'm going to spray it just to make it run so just a variety of different colors here that are going to add some 
bright color to this to this journal page. One of the things that I would do if I were to do this again is I, I would have just painted one flower at a time and let that run. You always run the risk of creating um, muddied colors when you let the, all of the colors run together. Um, it didn't happen um, because I stopped it from happening. But what I, like what I said before was um, if you really want it to look like that first flower did, um, paint one flower, you know, put spray your water on there, let it dry. But it, I just didn't want to take the time to do that because I was doing this on a video. So um, it took me long enough to do this, this uh, layout as it was. So I ended up just um, speeding up the process a little bit by painting all of the flowers and then spraying them and using my paper towel to dry them a little bit and so on. But for the best effect I think it it really would look best if you um, did each one flower at a time but this gives you a sense of what what um, kind of you know what it what it could look like in this way or what it does look like in this way <laughs> and then that first flower gives you a sense of if you did each flower separately so I'm actually going to end up covering this up with a bunch of different other stuff anyways so it was just to create the sense of a, of a background I guess more than anything I didn't use tissue paper for a background on this one so just to kind of create a little bit more of an artsy appeal by adding some more layers to it now you can see I've started adding some acrylic paint and I just can't seem to get away from from my acrylic paints on these art journal pages and I'm just adding a bunch of the red and the orange and some greens. I add some blues in there just to really um, create a dense, thick layer of paint on there. And when it's on there, I like it. I think it looks, I mean, it looks super artsy. You know, the way that it was before with the flowers stamped on there and that sort of thing, it was a little bit more whimsical and cutesy. And when you go ahead and add these this acrylic paint on here and and really start to mix it up with what you're using it just gives it more of an artsy appeal rather than um, the whimsical sort of look so I took a little bit of white acrylic paint after and I went around my little birdie with that just to make the birds stand out a little bit and I stamped that sentiment on there the Tim Holtz stamp which says courage is being yourself every day in a world that expects you to be someone else which I thought was really cute and it went really well with that bird and I'm just taking my dot fade stencil and I'm adding some texture paste just to tame down that paint a tiny little bit and I'm actually almost finished with this with this art journaling layout so it actually took me um I would say at least two hours to do this but because I sped it up so much um, and I did some things off camera um, the video obviously ended up being uh, manageable and something that maybe perhaps people might watch because I know I don't like sitting down and watching um, a video for an hour or at least I won't watch the whole thing in an hour I might watch it in bits and pieces at this stage of the game anyways sometimes if I have more time I might watch something that's an hour long at a shot but I usually don't have that much time to sit in at one time so I'm just adding some of my Faber-Castell Faber -Castell pit pen um, that's the India ink there just to add a little bit of shadow a little bit of shading so I just use the red around the bird and I'm using that cobalt blue around the the little plant parts there the stems on top of the bird's head there and just adding a little bit of white highlight with my single pen and you know what I'm almost finished and I really like the way that this turned out in the end it was so much fun to do and um, these these art journal pages are just a way to just you know get into your craft room and use some use some different uh, products that you have and just have fun you know and uh, it's just a way to to just be creative with your with your paints and your paste and whatever you have 
and just see what you can create. That's, that's really cool and original and totally you. So I hope you enjoyed this and um, I hope you have an amazing day. This video is almost done. We're almost there. Bye. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.